Hi, welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you what CSS is. CSS, Cascading Style Sheet. We're going to learn about it together. At the moment, in the screen, as you can see, you can take a look at CSS 01.html document. And this is very simple homepage that if I upload it in a web server, this homepage, what we're going to see in a web browser. So let's close our web browser and open our HTML editor. You can use Notepad or your other HTML editor. In this case, I'm going to use Dreamweaver. And so, uh, this is the HTML document that we just saw. So we're going to create new one here. HTML document, I hit create. And let's create the same. So you will get more understanding of it. This is all better in the code view, like this. So I'm going to uh, heating one, tag, and this is my simple home page. So, and closing tag like that and um, paragraph so p tag uh, this uh, was very it's a very simple html document and closing tag like that and another paragraph we going to stylize it really top it by learning CSS cascading style sheet so like that in closing p tag and we add division tag div tag example one and closing tag so this is the code that we just write together and now we take a look at our design view. So it's not exactly the same text but it's okay like this. So as you can see more and less same like our first uh, uh, HTML document we, we just saw in the web browser. So I'm going to press no. Okay. So this is our document now. And we're going to preview it in web browser. So we're going to uh, save it. And I'm going to name it CSS 001.html. So it should be now in my desktop. So yes, it is. And we can take a look. And exactly the same like the first document, maybe different text but more or less same simple text and no color nothing just a simple html document and we go back we just leave it open and we go back to our uh, html editor again and as you can see now this is the document that we just saw in web browser for example like now what if i want to make uh, this heating having a color so I just go to code and we will see again so I'm going to highlight it so going to code it's highlighted this one I'm going to change the color so we're going to type here what we're going to do we want to stylize it so type style and for example I want to have background color um, yellow 
semicolon. I'm going to design menu again and it simply has a yellow background. We go to our code again. This is the first step of CSS. So style and then following by properties. So what is the property? The property is background color and followed by colon and then um, value. So this value belong to this property. So what background color you want to have and we want to have it as a yellow background like this and type semicolon to get used to it it's better if you every time you write your code and type semicolon to separate uh, one property to another I'm going to show you what I mean so for example like this and I'm going to type um, font family and this is this is another um, property so I'm going to type uh, Vedana and semicolon to specify uh, one property so like this and we're going to design menu we see now it's changed to a Vedana uh, text and have yellow background we go back to our code again and for example I'm going to uh, type impact go back again and it's having impact font face so we go back again to our code for example if we don't put uh, the smile colon over here now let's see what's going to happen it's nothing so it ignores the code because the code was not right so we have to specify that that is the uh, another property we go back again and it has same effect like what we want to so don't forget to put the semicolon okay so now we go back to our uh, document again and this one for example I want to make it bold and bold and another color so this div tag I'm going to stylize it so style what style and what now the property so I'm going to I'm going to choose color so color I'm going to choose uh, red semicolon take a look again it's now becoming red and we're going to add another property I'm going to choose font weight bold semicolon we take a look again it's bolder now and it has a, a red color so we're going to check our web browser so now we save it and we're going to check our web browser again and this is our uh, first CSS 001.html document that, that we've just created before we stylize it and now I, when I hit the refresh button stylized this is the first part of um, learning and understanding CSS so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial goodbye